Who's the funniest Cleveland Guardian? Oh man. I'm gonna go with Jose Ramirez and Miles Straw. They're both up there. Jose Ramirez, really? he's he's really funny. You know, he he bonds with everyone on the team. I know he speaks a lot of Spanish, but he still comes up to me and messes with me too. So it's What are his English skills? They're better than he than, than he puts out there, right? He, yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, he hides it well. He does. He he's got some English speaking skills. Um, he just hides it. Yeah. It's smart play by him. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I mean, if you don't have to deal with us idiots, <laughs> I mean, you come up with any excuse that you possibly can. Oh yeah. He's played that very well. Because so he's been here long <laughs> enough and I know he's gotta have better skills than oh, he's yeah. playing on. Absolutely. Uh, if you weren't a baseball player, what would you be doing? You know, I'd probably follow my dad's footsteps and be a police officer. Um, my dad's been a police officer for 29 years now, so. Wow. So, In a major city? Uh, Pomona, California, and Los Angeles County, so. Yeah, so that's, that's. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you spend a lot of time worrying about him, too. That's not the safest profession these days. Not at all, I worry about, about him every single day. Um, you know, I say my prayers and every single night for him, and. Uh, and he's, he's just one of the biggest guys I look up to. So. Yeah. Well, my next question was, what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given and who gave it? It was from my dad. He goes, just be you and have fun. That was, it's gone a long way with, with that. Um, you know, at anything in life, he's always said, I don't care if you were, you were a police officer or not, or baseball player, you just gotta have fun at what you do and you gotta smile and give it your best. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't feel like work when you enjoy what you're doing. No, not at all. It really doesn't. Not at all. Favorite subject in school? <laughs> See, I didn't go to college for a reason. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were a good baseball player. <laughs> oh, man. I, oh, gosh. I'd probably say math. Definitely favorite. math guy, yeah. yeah. I think everybody has said math. Yeah. And I think I know where you're going with your least favorite, but what, what was your least favorite? Oh, man. English. I, it was probably English. I, I don't like writing papers and stuff. Um, yeah. Sorry, my English teacher, if you see this. <laughs> it's amazing how consistent that answer's been. Everybody has said math, everybody has said English. Really? Pretty much universally. Oh, wow. Um, you're a movie guy, so I was normally asked favorite movie, but give me your top three. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to go baseball movie. Um, definitely, I'm a huge Sandlot guy. I just, oh. growing up, I loved watching Sandlot. See, I would think you'd be too young for that. Yeah, I was, I was, I was young enough, but I was a baseball fan growing up. I was I was a baseball nerd. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I love man, I, I'm right now actually I know it's not a movie, but a show, Yellowstone. I'm really big on that right now. Yeah, that's popular. Oh yeah, that's that's number two if not number one. Yeah. <laughs> but um in three, I'm actually a scary movie type guy too. Really? So growing up I was a huge Halloween. I I I've watched all the Halloween movies. <laughs> Michael Myers. So I, that's probably my top three. So you're in for a good scare. Oh yeah, very bring, nice. Bring it on. <laughs> Who plays you in the movie? You know what? I, I um, yeah, yeah, from Sandlot. I've gotten a lot of a lot of people have said that is my twin. Even growing up, if I showed you a picture, I wouldn't side have by thought side, that originally, but now that you said it, mm -hmm. I can totally see it. If I, I wish I had a younger picture of myself, put it side by side, I look exactly like him. It's okay, kind of so scary. do you remember one of his lines from the movie? Do you have a favorite line of his from the movie? Um. Because I don't offhand. I'm trying to think of one that was iconic from him. All I know is, oh no, I don't actually. Damn, because I was going to tell you, look at the camera and give me your best line. Yeah, right. And then we'd, we'd put them back <laughs> side to back by side to, see, oh, to see you know, who wore it better. Gosh, it's been a while since I've seen Sandlot. I know it's my one of my favorite movies. It is I, such a good movie. I, I haven't seen it in a while. It really is. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good movie. Um, what's your perfect day off? Ooh, I've been going uh, golfing a little bit recently. I've been learning, playing with some of the guys. Um, Will Brandon's really good. Uh, Hunter Gaddis is really good. Um, probably golf, and then uh, honestly finish it up at the movies. Really? Oh yeah. Not a bad day. No. Uh, day on the beach or a hike on a mountain? I'm from Southern California, so I've seen the beach a lot. Yeah. So I'm gonna go more hiking. No, no, no fall on that one. Yeah. That's fine. Um, favorite meal that mom used to make? Lasagna. It's not even close. Really? Hell she yeah. does a good lasagna? It's, it's ridiculous. I don't wow. know what she does. She sprinkles some of her magic in there. Yeah, it's, that's it's mom, lasagna. It's mom stuff. Sure is. Yeah, <laughs> she'll tell you at some point so you can pass it down generationally. Oh, yeah. What's your? Do you have a favorite Cleveland eatery? Um, I don't know why, but I love the pizza out there. Any any sort of pizza. Don't, don't ask me, wow. but I love the pizza. I I don't know why. We have some good pizza places. Yeah. We really do. I've. Have you been to the Marble Room? I have. I was going to oh, ask. Place, I mean, most, oh, most of I say yeah. That place, yeah. that place is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your guilty pleasure? Like, whether it's a food that you shouldn't eat but you can't stay away from, or do you have a guilty pleasure? Um, you know, 
I'm not at the top of my head, but if, if there was one thing, I, I don't know, I, I, don't, I wouldn't call it guilty, but I mean, if I have a rough game or something and, and my family texts me, I just kind of stay away from my phone. Um, I don't know if that's really guilty or not, but. Why, you don't, you don't want to, do you think they're lying to you and no. saying it was better than it was? Or? No, no, not at all. It's just, I just kind of need my, to like, I need a minute to, or an hour or two just to kind of like calm myself down. Process, and then, decompress. And then once that's over, then I start talking to them. But I know it's really bad, but. Yeah. What's your biggest motivator? Um, so I have a picture in my locker um, during season. I hang up of me and my fiance and then my family. Um, and th those are my biggest motivators. So nice. I, uh, I look at that, those pictures every day and just kind of do it for them. Who's the player that you idolized growing up? Derek Jeter, uh, for sure. Yeah. It was um, He's not the flashiest guy out there. He, w he was never the flashiest guy out there. Bat to ball skills. Um, you know, I, I just, I try to be him every single day. And now you're kind of living his life. I mean, not to the level that he did yet. Right, right. <laughs> but like, do you sometimes pinch yourself? Because 99.999% of the kids that had that dream never even sniff it. Right, it's, it's a blessing for sure. Um, I even got to wear, get the number two myself, so it was it was an honor just to just to represent that for him. Um, but it's like you said, it's I'm in the big leagues, and you know, trying to idolize him and do everything like him, it's I can't really ask for anything better than that. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You said you're golfing now. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have a dream foursome in golf. They don't have to be golfers. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be athletes. They can be musicians, okay. athletes, family. What's yeah. your dream foursome? Um, the first one, I am going to go with Derek Jeter. Like I said, I, I idolize him a lot. Um, I'm going to go Adam Sandler, number two. He was I watched so many Adam Sandler movies growing up. Um, same with Will Ferrell, so I'm going to go Will Ferrell, three. <laughs> um, and four, I'm going to add in Jackie Robinson, just to kind of like pick his brain and stuff. See, nice. You know, just, just stuff like that. What about, are you a music guy or no? Big country fan. Country? I, I'm into country. So I, you can pick, I go to a concert every year. You can't go because it's in season. Right. Bash on the Bay. It's on Putin Bay. Mm -hmm. And they bring in country acts. And I'm not a country fan, but my <laughs> wife is a huge country fan. Right. So I get dragged to these things. You all understand <laughs> once. You know, oh, yeah. You, you'll get it. Can't wait. <laughs> and I haven't been to one that I haven't really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Like, really enjoy these guys are good so there's it's a two-day festival mm -hmm. and they always bring in two a-list like luke bryan yeah. and you know i can't even think of um uh <laughs> yeah like, i can't think of this, some of the even last year they're all like names that i know and if yeah. i know them they're they're <laughs> huge um who would be your two perfect acts for bash on the bay you know i Funny you, you just brought it up, but my first ever country concert was Luke Bryan. So it, Luke Bryan would probably be, I'd say he's two. And then Morgan Wallen would probably be number one. He's hes kind of the hot thing right now. So. Everybody, I i keep hearing that name, so it must be a, a real thing. Yeah, he's so. he. I went to a concert when I was rehabbing from my uh, shoulder surgery last year um, out here in Arizona, and it was it was the best country concert I've ever been to. It was, it was fun. Awesome, great job, man.